Hi guys, in relation to my previously posted video about how to activate hands-free Siri on Mac computer, I have used voice dictation tricks to activate hands-free Siri with just two simple steps. Today I will be using the same voice dictation tricks, but this time to run your favorite apps or websites using just your voice through dictation feature in your Mac without you touching anything. In other words, I will be showing you how to run your favorite apps or websites with hands-free voice dictation. If you ask me why do we need to use this trick if I can use Siri to run any app on Mac easily and why do I need to use voice dictation? Sure, you can use Siri to run an app but you need to follow two steps. First, you need to activate Siri and second, you need to say open the app name. Let me show an example here. So you have to activate Siri here. Open Safari. Something like this. Also with Siri, you can ask it to open a specific website that you like. For example, you can't command Siri to open YouTube or Facebook. You click it here, open Facebook. You don't seem to have an app named Facebook. We could see if the app store has it. So as you can see, it only recognized the app, but the website it doesn't recognize. Let me try one more with YouTube. Open YouTube. It doesn't look like you have an app named YouTube. If you'd like, I can help you look for it on the app store. Okay, as you can see, it won. But if you say the ending .com at the end, it would open. Open Facebook.com. Okay, it's that opening. Same with YouTube. Open YouTube.com. Okay, so only if you say .com at the end and it only works with famous or popular websites that everyone knows. What happens if you want to use Siri to open a website of your choice that contains complicatedly long phrases? Well, the result is it won't recognize that website. However, with the voice dictation tricks that I am about to show you for running an app, you only need to use one step for opening a website. You can open any website of your choice and no matter how long or complicated the website website is, it still opens instantly for you. So without further delay, let's get started. First, you need to navigate to system preferences right here. If you watched my previous video regarding how to activate hands-free Siri on Mac computer, you may probably have turned on dictation feature already. But if you haven't done so yet, here, let me show you again. Just navigate to keyboard, dictation. If it is the first time for you, dictation feature is off. Just tick on and don't forget to tick used enhanced dictation. And again, if it is the first time for you, it will require you to download 1.2 gigabytes of dictation file for offline uses. After you download it, have back to accessibility and you go to dictation on your left and you need to click enable the dictation keyword phrase I already ticked that but if you haven't ticked it yet just tick there to activate it here you need to type a word or a phrase to activate dictation so when you say this word or phrase it will activate so you can use anything like hey or ho or hi it's up to you just choose it wisely okay next you click on dictation commands on the top here and again, if it is the first time for you, it will look like this. You have to click enable advanced commands at the bottom here, tick. It will allow you to add more advanced commands. And again, if it is the first time for you, all of these will be ticked like this. The reason why I untick all of these, because in my experience, if you leave these voice commands checked like this, whenever your Mac hears any word related to one of those commands, it will activate that command unintentionally, causing your Mac to behave weirdly. Because after you have turned on the dictation feature, it will always stay open and always listen to whatever it hears. So to avoid any unintentional voice command, please turn all of these commands off because you don't really need them anyways. So let's start with running your favorite app first. So to add a new command so that you can run any of your favorite apps, quickly just click plus sign here and at the top you can see this is when I say this is a place where you provide a name to your favorite app or website that you want to run again choose the name wisely it is a better idea to choose one word or at most two word name because this is the name that you speak up to combine with the previous hey or ho command to activate or to run that app make sure you write no more than two words let's say if I want to run uh, uh, Final Cut Pro for example just type Final Cut and while using, you leave it there. For the perform, you tick open finder items. 
and then you select Final Cut Pro here click open and done let me show you another one I want to add another app let's say I want to run this one any trends I just type any click open find the items find the app name here click open click done that's for adding your favorite apps command for adding your favorite website you do the same so you click add I want to open YouTube so I type YouTube and for the perform this time because you want to open a website you cannot choose open finder items you choose open URL you want to type in the YouTube URL if you remember it you just type it in but you don't just copy from here and paste it here and click done again I show you another one but this one for the very long and complicated website for example I say Amazon so I have this one here it's called Amazon Mechanical Turk it's a very long website if you ask Siri to open that website it won't recognize because it is too long you see the link is too long but with these dictation commands it always open for you click done now you're ready to start your voice commands let's start with the two apps that I have just added to my dictation commands at the moment activate Final Cut. So my dictation keyword is activate, but because it doesn't work, you can always change it to anything else and test it which one would work best for you. Now I change it to Hey to see if it works. Hey, Final Cut. Okay, it's working now. Let's try one more time. Hey, Final Cut. Okay. You see, you don't touch anything, just say the command, it will detect your voice and activate that. Now let's open another app. Hey, Annie. Okay, you can see, it opened the app that I want. Now let's open the website. Hey, YouTube. Okay, you see, now let's open the long website. Hey, Amazon. You can see, so it opened your favorite website, no matter what website. So with this trick, please use it to open only your most favorite or most frequently used apps or websites. Don't use it with every app or every website. Otherwise, you will have a long list of apps or websites to be added to the dictation commands. This is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please click like, comment down below and subscribe for more useful video in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.